start from credit and marketing, right? So let's just start from here. So ma'am, credit and marketing in rural area. So first thing is ma'am, what is the importance of credit in rural development? Why you need credit? Credit is basically, for example, uh, I want to start something. So I want money, right? So credit it basically, like I will be taking money. So in rural area, most of the people are poor. So over there, credit is very, very important. Right. So first you will write, you will give a heading credit and marketing in rural area. Then you will write hashtag importance of credit in rural development. So it is growth of rural economy depends primarily on inclusion of capital from time to time to realize higher productivity in the agriculture and non-agriculture sector. So basically your growth, if you want to grow the rural sector, you need credit because you need capital. You need agriculture and non-agriculture productivity. So for that you need investment. Right. Then second, as the time uh, gestation between crop sowing and realization of income after the production is quite long, uh, long farmer borrow from various sources to meet their initial investment on seeds, fertilizer, implements, and other family expenses of marriage, death, religious ceremony, etc. So basically, for example, today I am growing the crop. After six months, I will cut this crop and only then I can money. So in between from where I will get the money. So what people basically do, they borrow it from someone else. So that's why credit is very, very important in rural development. So you will write, you will give it a heading. Then you will write hashtag importance of credit in rural development. First point and then the second point. And let me know once you're done, I'll scroll. Adil, we have started the credit and marketing in rural area. So this is the first topic. So first, you have to write importance of credit in rural development. First point. And after that, I'll scroll down to the second point. Uh, okay, ma'am.
done, students? Yes, ma'am. So let's just start with the sources of ruler in uh, uh, sorry credit in India. So before starting with the credit system, we should know that there are when we take credit, credit is basically we are taking money, right? So we take money first of all according to time, and second is according to purpose. So according to time, we take short term credit, medium term credit, and long term credit. So ma'am, what is the short term credit basically? when the period of loan ranges between 6 months and 15 in between 6 months to 15 months it is known as short term and over here for example i want to buy seeds i want to buy tools manure or fertilizer and for that purpose i am taking loan so that is short term credit okay and medium term is basically over here the period of loan li uh, lies between over here you will like these two points uh, 15 months to 5 years okay and why you are taking this to buy machinery equipments digging wells constructing kettles shelters etc okay and the long term credit is basically it's between 5 to 20 years for example if you want to buy tractor land heavy machines and equipment you will buy go for long term credit okay so that was according to time but now coming to according to purpose one is your productive purpose okay so what you will write you will write it is required to buy seeds machines fertilizer constructing kettle sets and all that so this is productive i want to do some production Unproductive basically it is required to meet expenditure on personal funds such as religious ceremony, marriage to pay back the old debt, etc. So, for example, I want um, I have a small kid and uh, like not small kid, like is there any marriage going on in my family? And for that, I need money. So that is unproductive. But for example, if I want to uh, buy a land to construct my hotel over there, that is productive one. But unproductive is a religious ceremony and all that. If I'm I want money for that purpose, that is unproductive purpose. Clear? So, what you will write? You will write uh, credit needs. You will draw it and then according to time, short term, these two points, medium term, these two points, long term, these two points. Then second, according to purpose, productive, this point and unproductive, this point. Clear? So, first you will write this, this and then I'll scroll it down one by one.
ou que Ribeiro. Done, students. Okay. 
so now let's just do uh, basically these are the sources now we will be doing the sources okay s means sources okay so ma'am what are the sources of uh, this thing we have two sources one is your informal in non institutional sources and one is your institutional sources so in non institutional are basically which are not formal formal is basically where a proper documentation is everything needed right so non institutional sources is first of all first is money lenders okay so money lender is this so what you will write money lender have been advancing a major share in rural credit requirement okay this but there are some problem so what you will write you will write major problem in taking loans you will just write major problem then you will write very high interest rate second you will write uh, they acquire land on failure of payback of loan for example i gave you land La loan okay but you were unable to repay it so what i will do i will take your land okay and plus they manipulate the account accordingly they take the interest for example i want to take 10% interest i will i want to take 20% i will right so listen to it very carefully one of the important concept is here sources we have two sources one is your non institutional which is also known as informal and one is your institutional which is your formal sector so in uh, non institutional first is money lender okay money lender have been advancing a major um, major share of rural credit requirement okay and these are the problem now this is second one second one is trader and commission agent okay but again they have the problem ma'am what are the problem over here they charge high rates of interest and they force farmer to sell crops to at lower price so they ask farmer to you know clear it at low prices okay and next is landlord okay so ma'am what are the landlords basically the things which they you know take it over as like for example i have lots of land so i am the landlord so you will be taking money from me because over there then rural area a lot of poor people are there so again landlord have high interest rate and plus they exploit small farmers by manipulating accounts and the fourth this one was third right and the fourth one is your relatives okay but relatives they play a role in credit these normally carry in uh, carry no interest and money in return as per requirement of the loan provider or after the harvest so over here if you are taking money from your relatives you don't have to pay any loan or oh, sorry any interest right so what you will write you will write relatives and then you will write here no interest uh, these normally carry no interest and money in return and money is written as per requirement of the loan provider or after the harvest okay so first of all you will write the sources wait write to write in a very crisp manner okay first write sources of credit then write first international sources non institutional sources and formal sector first is money lender problems then second is trader and commission agent problems okay these two then third is your landlord problems these two and fourth is your relatives clear
done students okay so now next is institutional sources okay so there are institutional sources one is your formal sector okay so over here first is cooperative credit society okay so ma'am what is this cooperative credit society basically what you will write for this you will write this cooperative credit society was established in 1904 which played a major role in shifting the role of informal sector to the formal sector to provide rural credit okay you will write it from here okay and this society advanced credit to the farmer at reasonable rates of interest the okay so you will write this and then again uh, these are the basically objectives so again it's okay then land development banks so these provide long term credit the credit is granted against the mortgage of their lands okay so over here on like for your lands they will be providing you the things next third is commercial bank you already know there are different banks is so what you will write you will write commercial bank played a major role in advancing credit okay then you will write they directly help the farmer by expanding their branches okay in the rural areas okay and then you will write to create awareness about the existing facility the first point then regional banks ma'am what are regional banks these banks have been set up to cover the gap in credit structure of the available facility in the rural areas okay these are basically the rural regional rural bank they are only available in region different regions of rural areas then self help group so what you will write focus of self help group is on those rural poor small and marginal farmer agriculture and non agriculture labor etc who do not have sustainable access to the formal banking system okay so you will write Here, till here then the next one is your national very very important okay national bank of agriculture and rural development navad so over here sometimes you can get a question like write a note on nawab okay so you should remember first of all what is the full form of nawab ma'am national bank for agriculture and rural development nawab was set up in 1982 as an apex body to coordinate the activities of all institution involved in rural financing system okay the main functions are to act as an apex agency for the institutional which uh, which advance credit in the rural areas second to promote the strength of the credit institution and credit delivery system of commercial bank cooperative and regional rural bank third to provide assistance to the non formal uh, non farm sector non farm is basically farm is basically the agriculture sector right but if if you are giving the money or if you are utilizing your money in a non agriculture sector that also comes under this then to control the evaluate the project financed by it to coordinate the functioning of different financial institution involved in advancing rural credit so over here you have five you can learn any four okay this is very very important okay so these are basically the non institutional institutional one where the formal sectors are being applied so first is cooperative credit society second is your land development banks third is your commercial bank credit fourth is your regional rural bank Fifth is your self help group, and sixth is your Navad. Now the question is, ma'am, how we are going to learn this much, right? And how we will, uh, you know, write the answers and uh, like write answers. So, for example, if they are asking you the sources, so what you can do, you can write in uh, formal and informal. You can write two for formal and two for informal enough, okay? Or in case if they are asking you for six marks, then three for formal and three for informal. That's it done. okay but in case if they ask you what are the institutional and non institutional then you have to write the entire thing or they can ask you the question write what 
what do you understand by nabaz write a note on it so you have to write entire thing but in case if they are if they are asking you to write the sources then in one or two line like for function you can mention one or two function that's enough okay but if they are asking you specifically about any particular topic then you have to write the entire thing clear yes ma'am okay hmm. so this will be your homework okay so after this we'll start with one more topic which is your this source of ruler in cre uh, ruler credit in india okay so basically we know there are uh, two sources one is your formal one is your informal or you can say institutional or non institutional but ma'am what are the sources of ruler credit in india so at the time of independence money lend money lender and trader exploited small farmer and marginal farmer and landless labor by lending them on high interest rate and by manipulating the account to keep them in the debt okay so this was thing then a major change occurred or occurred after 1969 when india adopted social banking and multi agencing approach to adequately meet the need of ruler credit so earlier this is basically these are basically the sources in india so earlier what at the time of independence money lender used to exploit the people then from 1961 people started taking money from multi agency okay then later on this nabard was set up as an apex body to coordinate the activities of all institution involved in the ruler financing system then the green revolution was a harbinger of major changes in the credit system as it led to diversification of portfolio of ruler credit toward production oriented lead orient production oriented lending okay so everyone was giving money for the production okay then the institutional structure of rural banking today consists of a set of multi agency institutional namely commercial bank regional rural banks cooperative and land development banks they are accepted to uh, disperse adequate credit at cheaper rates clear yeah? so this is basically the source of rural credit in india in india how you are taking the credit okay so if i will ask you what are the sources of rural credit then you will write two institutional non institutional like this but if i'll ask you what are the source of ruler credit in india then you are going to write this paragraph clear first second third fourth and fifth clear students clear heba mariam adab Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now I will be giving you people homework. So you will be taking the screenshots and you will be completing that thing in your home. Uh, like tomorrow you have an off, off in the sense no economics class. Alternative days we have. So you will take the screenshot. Second institutional source. For this, what you have to write first cooperative one, then this point, and then till here. Done. Yeah, what do we have to write? Ah, uh, you have to write second. Ah, uh, you don't have to write right now. You have to take screenshot. You will write this in your notebook. Okay. After. So for this institutional source, first is cooperative. The first point will be from here to here, and the second point will be from here till here. Okay. Okay. Done. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now after this. land development and the commercial bank credit then yes ma'am then regional bank and the self help group then Yes, ma'am. Now, after this, this the bad very very important. You have to write entire paragraph. Okay, you can get direct question that you have to write a paragraph or write a short note on the bad. Done. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And after this, if I'll ask you the question. what are the sources of ruler credit in india then you are going to write this entire thing quickly take the screenshot
Done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now, students, one more thing. From uh, this week itself, we are planning to take your self study sessions. Okay, which I think I discussed in your class. Yes or no? No. Uh, basically, what we are planning, like we are planning that after, like these are the classes which you are taking, but we will take your one more class. Okay, one more class in the sense, like once you are done with your classes, right after eight o'clock at your place. Okay, we will take your class where like one hour class will be there. For example, if I am taking your economics class, what I will do, we will be dividing the topics or the chapters. For example, money and banking, money chapter is too small. Right, so it it is not divided into so many topics. Right, so what we will do for ten to fifteen minutes, we will discuss that topic. Okay, and I will share you few questions. Okay, that you will try to attend in the class itself. So we will divide the entire uh, one hour into four parts. Okay, four parts in like the first part. Uh, I will give uh, first part. I'll give you few questions. You will solve them. Okay, like for the thirty minutes. Okay, and the next part we will discuss those questions. And the last part, we will discuss the next chapter. For example, tomorrow you are going to, uh, you know, revise the topic, this topic. Okay, so you will do like we will discuss that. So one hour I will be taking like this, like apart from your these classes. Okay, why? Because most of the students are demanding that, ma'am, we are not getting time to revise. Though we are completing the syllabus, but we are not getting time to revise. So now you also know that after two months you have not even two months, yeah, hardly two months you have your exam. Right, so you need to revise the previous thing. So what we will doing? We are doing this, but side by side we need to practice questions. We need to look how questions are coming. What are the what is the form? And plus there are so many things like the assertion, recession. So many types of questions are there which we need to practice. Right. So in that self study session, I am planning that I'll be teaching you people something extra, like extra like revision plus something extra to you as a, in form of assignment. So I just wanted to know like this is not something very forcible. Like it's like we are only demanding your time. That if you can, if you think that you need revision, and if you think like that, yes, ma'am, this will be this study session will be useful for us because we only want your time, right? Nothing else or something. So I just wanted to know like whether you people like from this batch you want to attend that revision session because I'm going to start that. So I'll be keeping everyone like all the batch students will be in one go. Right? If you feel like that you need revision, and you need more clarification for any topic, you can come. If you think you can devote your one hour, right? Because of course, after eight o'clock, I will be keeping this class because till eight o'clock, everyone has their classes, right? So I just wanted to know, like individually, you can attend because I'm preparing the list and accordingly, I'll prepare my syllabus. Okay, so I just wanted to know, like, who is really willing to join, uh, like, come, like, who is really willing to come to that self study session where you need to devote your one hour. So who will tell me? Just tell me yes or no. You can write in chat box or you want to unmute. So you can let me know so that I can share which day will be these classes. I think I, these are self study classes basically. So we are planning like we will be keeping it. I think uh, regularly. I think there will be an off like for Friday there will be an off. But I think rest of the day we'll be keeping you. We'll be giving you for example money chapter is very. It's not that much lengthy. So it, we can complete in one go. But for example. Let's just take a uh, independence chapter. It's very lengthy, so we will be doing that entire chapter for one week, right? We'll be div dividing the, uh, you can say topics. That okay, this topic we'll be covering this, so that will be a pressurizing things for you. Pressurizing, you have that pressure that we need to learn this. Now it's not time to just read the things; it's time to learn. So in that self study session, we will be learning plus we will be discussing the questions and everything. So that's why I was asking you. Mm, uh, okay, ma'am. Explain Monday and Wednesday. I can join. Okay, 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 Hiba. So, uh, I just note it down because I need to prepare a timetable for all the students. Mm, okay, Hiba. For Monday and Wednesday, you have uh the classes. So, Hiba, it's from eight to nine or nine to ten. It's seven thirty to nine thirty. Okay. It's Madrasa okay. class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means Monday and Wednesday you won't, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, and what about Maryam? Yeah, okay. What about Mariam and uh, Adab? Okay. Mariam. I won't be able to join uh, regularly, but mm -hmm. I'll try. Okay, okay. So Adab, what, in case if you are unable to join, 
like do you like of course not for all the days but you have to join for few days okay i will mention that this topic is very much important and you cannot skip it so for that you need to be there right okay ma'am for example which uh, which topic maybe it's not like that everyone feels like that that topic is <laughs> so for that what you will do i will be allotting you the topic that okay this is the topic but make sure that you are reading that topic in that particular day right so what i will okay. do i will show you the assignment if you are not coming to the class but i am expecting that before the next class you are going to submit me the assignment okay 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 and of course the pdf of questions and everything i will share with uh, you so that you can learn that or whatever you no need to write anything in the class and in the class itself i'm not going to ask you people to write down lengthy answers it will be mcqs things and plus we will be discussing more questions like how questions can come and how you can approach those questions okay okay yeah okay then students in the next class we will finish this chapter you will be cooperating with me